What is going on, guys? My name is Tubby Emu, and last year when we were at the playtest, I suggested to 2K, hey, in Triple Threats, it'd be cool if somebody rolled out with a ring. And this year, we actually got it. We're going to be looking at some of the footage I captured and talking a little bit about this feature and why it's possibly one of the best features WWE games has ever added. Now, I will tell you this. I played roughly three matches in Triple Threats to try to get the hang of it and see what would trigger a rollout, how it would happen. Right here is one of the best sequences that I've gotten from the Triple Threat rollout. You can see he runs... Double drop kick to both of them. He's going to go after Miz. He's going to hit Apollo. Miz is going to run to the corner, hit his move, and Ziggler rolls out. Now, Ziggler will eventually come running back in. I will tell you as a feature, I would like it, as you guys can see on the bottom bar in a triple threat rollout match. It has to build up. Once you get to orange, you can, for a stamina cost, bump that and get back up. If you wait till white, there is no penalty. And the longer you wait, the more it builds back up. To me personally... I really enjoyed this feature, but I still wish there was a snap-out feature, kind of like resiliency. So in those epic moments where I want to run in and break it up, I can in time. Right here. How he runs up the ladder, boom, Miz is going to catch him. Again, this is one of my favorite finishes. Because off the top, boom, he goes down. But who rolls out of the ring? Who took the most damage? And how is this figured out? Again, I don't know, but it provides for some awesome spots. This is probably the one thing, as you can see, Miz is rolling out of the ring with Highlight Reel. If we had a free roam camera, you could create some of the most epic things possible if you were able to free roam a camera and like look from the apron as their head's peeking up. Hopefully next year, because this year Highlight Reel does not include a free roam camera, we can get that. Because a free roam camera would provide those options to create some of the most epic recreations and simulations known to man if we had that. You take a look at the ladder minigame, and this is where it's going to set up another triple threat rollout spot. Now, I will show a little bit later on one of the more epic spots as well from this match earlier on. But right here, Apollo goes down. Miz is going to capitalize, and out goes Apollo, which sets up the perfect opportunity for Miz to win, which he will, in fact, go on to cash in. Now, one of the matches, the triple threats I played, I didn't get a show, but it created for an epic sequence where he did go out of the ring. It was, if I can remember properly, if I was who I was doing, I was doing Chris Jericho, KO, and I think Sami Zayn. And what happened, essentially, was uh, we hit a code breaker, he rolled out of the ring. It was a big move, and it stalled a little bit where he came back and broke it up, and once you broke it up, they stayed down long enough where you could try to pin the other person. Similar to my playtest in New York, and that's one of my favorite features. Because in a breakout, as you can see, Bailey rolls out of the ring. That wasn't a huge move. That wasn't a huge gut bust. Like, that wasn't a signature, a finisher. It was kind of random. Now, I will say, the randomness of the triple threat rollouts is a little awkward. But at the same time, again, it provides for more realistic match options, and I'm so glad that 2K actually added it. As you can see, it goes to the corner a little bit too much, and in triple threats, I do notice that. When I'm doing triple threats, often still that AI is either breaking up moves or is just going to the corner to gloat. As you can see, out goes Charlotte, and boom, it creates another sequence between Bailey to create some epic and awesome moments within the game. This is probably one of my favorites. Like I said, a lot of this probably wouldn't have been possible with the showcase mode being in the game. If you watch my channel for a long time, you know I do not cover showcase mode. I do not put over showcase mode, and it has not been a favorite mode of mine. Not that they don't do a good job on it, but it takes away time. Right here, boom. See how Bailey's still down? It seems in triple threat mat matches, they do stay down a little bit longer, which is exactly what I've wanted, and I get it. We all want, some of us want an arcade game and don't like simulation-based stuff. I'm looking at you, CM Pulse. Some of us want to jump off ladders, do crazy stuff, ride bicycles, do some treadmill gimmicks. But at the end of the day, they're creating something that's realistic on TV. Now, one of my criticisms of the triple threat rollout would be, it would be cool if the camera snapped off of the third person and went back into the ring. That way, the run-in or surprise was a heck of a lot more uh, interesting or compelling. And I'm going to show that here on the comeback moment where the camera is a little bit more zoomed in because of that. Because, again, this is one of my favorites. If I had to pick one of my favorite features as somebody that wants to create epic matches and do stuff that would, you know, look pretty awesome, that's exactly what I want from the game. And, again, highlight reel? Oh, man. Could you imagine some of the stuff they could do, like, with highlight reel? I'm telling you. 
The recreation guys could have a ball. As you can see, boom, again, Sasha goes out. Bailey's going to hit her with a DDT, and then Bailey is going to go for that ultimate move and try to finish her off. And on the outside, you see Sasha Banks again rebuilding it. Now, I, Tony Pizzi guy brought up an interesting thing at the playtest and seems like getting back in the ring was a little slow, and that is kind of my critique. To get in to fully break it up, it has to be timed perfectly because that bar has to be in the orange. If there was a pink option to have resiliency, to lose a finisher, to drop stamina completely, to get up once in a match as maybe like an OMG moment or an ability down the road, it could improve this feature even more because as you see, when somebody rolls in, this exactly happens. If you wait on the outside for the wrong time, the opponent can capitalize. But if you jump in too early, you could also get taken out. And that's where, depending, because we did not get a play online, we have not gotten a play online ever at the play test, I want to know how it works in triple threat matches online. And that's one of the more interesting and unique things that I think people are going to have to you know, take into consideration. How is it going to work? Are people online, especially with commentary, going to be complaining like, oh, I didn't want to roll out. Oh, he rolled out too much. Are people going to abuse the rollout? Is it going to be taken advantage of? Or is it going to be something that provides matches to get over faster? Because in triple threat matches online, they used to run for a long time because you used to be able to break up pretty much every pin and nobody stayed down long enough. Now, like right here, those running knees probably shunt to center to the outside. But again, it sets up the, um, the spots. It's a spot-friendly thing. Like right here, had I been able to pop up, boom, run back into the ring and break it up, it would have been pretty awesome. Or if Sasha had a finisher and then ran in and threw her out would also be awesome. But again, if she was to hit a bank statement, or not a bank statement, let's say she hit, or the bank statement knees, right? She hits one of her sigs, and then boom, she breaks it up right there. Watch how Charlotte still stays down. Again, boom. Bailey throws her out of the ring, and she's going for a move. She could have pinned her. This has been one of the biggest frustrations with past games with how fast they got up. All right, here we go. Let's show off the comeback moment and what I'm talking about when it's set, when I say the zoomed-in camera could provide for a better option. Boom, right? You don't even know Sasha's in this match right now until right here when Sasha starts getting on the apron. If that camera in the future locked off of that third person, which I don't know how hard that would be, could create some pretty epic stuff from WWE right here. Again, this is one of the things I was talking about where they do seem to go to the corner a little too much. But boom, Sasha's down. Sasha just landed on her neck. She's rolling out, and here's the finish. Bailey's going to win. It's her second Bailey to belly in the match on Charlotte, and Charlotte is not going to be able to kick out. But right here, boom. Had she been able to do that, and then Sasha all of a sudden ran back in and broke that up and threw her out for the victory? Oh, my gosh. It's one of those features in games when they finally add in an idea you have and you go, oh, damn, this is awesome. And immediately you go, okay, I knew this idea was awesome and here's what we can do to improve on it even more. Because right here, this is a great sequence or a good way to show. Again, one of my little annoying features, she went to the corner, but Sasha is getting back to her feet. Bailey's on her knee. Charlotte sees Sasha come back in, so she's going after Bailey. What does she do? She goes to the corner to gloat. Again, happens probably a little too more frequently than I would like, but look at the sequence it created. It created one of the best match sequences. As you can see, the big elbow, she's going to roll out, and boom, Charlotte, who Sasha just got rolled out of the ring before this whole sequence, gets taken down and creates something awesome. So I want to know your guys' thoughts on this. I want to know where you see this triple threat. Will this be abused online, or will this be something that you're looking forward to? Because me personally... This, again, is one of my favorite features. Backstage is great. Crowd fighting, okay. Provides some realism. But triple threat rollouts. Man, the realism, bro. Like right here. Let's take this one, for example. Boom. Down he goes. He's going to go after him. And he's going to do the job. And then Baron Corbin is going to come in. Dolph is out. And this is where that whole sequence set up where eventually he would run into the ring to do the table spot. Man, the rollout is a pretty awesome feature, and I'm looking forward to playing it more in WWE. See right here. If that camera was able to zoom in on Ziggler's face as they're in the ring, holy crap. Are you guys ready? Boom. Miz is out of the ring. Baron Corbin, who uh, 
I did a pretty awesome spot with Baron Corbin in a triple threat match as well. Uh, as I'm looking at Apollo Crews, I didn't mean to call it Baron Corbin. I was trying to recall. It was Baron Corbin in the triple threat, not uh, Kevin Owens. Sorry. As you see, boom. He's going to hit it all the crossroads on the ladder, but it's the spot from the top of the ladder that makes it epic. So again, will this be abused online? I don't know because I've yet to get to play it online. But to me, again, one of my favorite features. I want to know what your guys' favorite feature that you've seen so far in the game. Boom. Out goes, out goes Apollo. Miz uses the ladder. He's beating the crap out of Dolph Ziggler. This is his opportunity. The Miz is going to climb the ladder as he's rolling out. And again, this is what led to the sequence before as Miz has got the title. He's going for it. There goes Dolph Ziggler. He's running to the top. He's trying to kick him off. But in comes Apollo Crews. And smart, I get off of the ladder. Does this. Runs after him. Misses him. He reverses it. And then he takes the Miz down for an awesome sequence. Just some of the stuff you could do in a triple threat match in WWE 2K17. Until next time, it's your boy, Toby Emu.